And as the players are walking onto court, I just want to inform you that my very good friend and colleague, Christine Peterson, is now with me to commentate. And uh, both of us very much looking forward to this match. A men's doubles between the Olympic champions from Chinese Taipei, Li Yang and Wang Qilin. And it coming here onto court. It's uh, Li Yang, the tall athlete, that's leading the two players onto court. But Govishem, not far from, won a silver at the Olympics in 2016 with his former partner, Tan Wichong. They had two match points in that final against uh, the pair from China, but it did not capitalize in 2016. So obviously there's no heads to heads between these two pairs because Go and Lo is actually the first time ever they participate in a tournament together. All right, go. Yeah. I've got red or black. Uh, red. red, black for you. Black. Receive. receive. Who's receiving? Wang to receive. Low to, low low to low serve. Low. And on which side? This side. This side. Excellent. So there can't be much difference in ends because none of the pairs so far in the first three matches have chosen ends. So it was a fantastic run at the Olympics this year for Li Yang and Meng Chilin. They actually lost a match in, in the group against uh, Ranky Reddy and Shetty from India, but still managed to qualify for the knockout stage. And from there, they were just zooming, played so well. Here we got Govishem, he's now 32 years of age. And uh, of, as you can see, this partnership has got no ranking, but he went all the way to number one in the world with his former partner, Tan Wee Kyung, at the end of 2016. Partner Lo Zhuan is 27 years of age. He's technically a very, very strong player. And with his former partner, Chui Kaming, they went to number 26 on the world ranking. Lao is born in Saramban, which is just south of Kuala Lumpur, and uh, Gobishem is born in the capital city, Kuala Lumpur. Li Yang, 26 years of age, and uh, the partnership is presently ranked as number three in the world, and that's based on 33 tournaments, and they've spent 35, sorry, 38 Ready weeks as number three. Partner Wang Chilin, also 26 years of age, and uh, the same ranking applies to him. He was as high as number four on the world ranking with his former partner, Chen Hongling, uh, where that partnership won a bronze at the World Championship in 2018. Li Yang won French Open earlier with his former partner, Li and uh, they got as high as number seven on the world ranking. But since those two have been partner up, it's been house on fire. A very, very aggressive attacking men's doubles with a lot of firing power. So we are waiting for Li Yang to get ready. And then I'm actually very much looking forward to this match. I don't know how you see it, Steen. Yeah, it's it's going to be really, really interesting to see the Olympic champions um, at an individual tournament again, and also um, uh, Gobi Shem with um, a new partner. Um, it's sort of the baptism of fire, so to speak. You start out against the Olympic champions. Yes. And uh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, so you got everything to win, right, more or less. Li Yang yeah. and Wang Qilin, Chinese Lao has Taipei. got a very nice technique. And on my left, Go Fi Shen, Yuan Shen, Malaysia. Go Yuan Shen, serve to Wang Qilin. Bravo. Play. <laughs> Over one love. So wish it. Service over one old. And this is what we can expect to see, isn't it? Li Yang trying to take control of the net, which he did so well here. Always zooming in at the front of the court at any given opportunity. That was over. Trying to play it around the back of his opponent there. So the shuttle was out of sight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and not his opponent, but his partner, of course. Yes. Oh, oh. over. Three, two. Welcome, technical officials. Next match on court number two. Oh. That's not advisable to <laughs> Definitely. return it a little bit upwards to the front court whilst Li Yang is there. Now you've got to get it away from Li Yang at the front of the court. Really have to get it away from him. Or, or really try to uh, get his number in the beginning of the match. I've seen, I haven't seen it this year, but I've seen it previously that that he can be uh, a little bit up and down when he does not have a good day, then there's also uh, a lot of mistakes in him. But, but um, so far uh, here in 2021, he's only had good days. Yes, only good days. The partnership is actually undefeated in 2021 with four wins. They had three wins Seven, in January. Two. And on court number twice in Super Thousand tournaments and then the World Tour Finals and then of course the Tokyo Olympics. But undefeated is obviously uh, a technical term in, in this matter because they actually did, of course, lose that match against the two Indian players in uh, the Olympics, but they went on to win the tournaments because the loss was at the group stages. Yeah. So they won all the tournaments that they participated in. And that, that was actually... Uh, I mean, I didn't think they would be able to um, to win the Olympics. I, I, I really didn't think of them in terms of winning the Olympics. I, I thought of them in terms of could they perhaps get a medal? But I was doubtful because even though they won these three tournaments in um, in Thailand in January, I thought, yeah, there were no Indonesians, there were no uh, Japanese players, there were no Chinese players. Uh, it's going to be difficult. But um, it, yeah, it was difficult, but they managed. But when they got going in Tokyo, they it, were, was, it was unbelievable. They were a different class. Yes. The other pairs. That win over Gideon and Sukumulio in the group stage, which they needed. Had they lost that match, they would have been out of tournament. Six, yeah. nine, change. But when they got that win, they got confident. We often see it, these... Uh, near misses in terms of um, a bomb is hitting you almost you're almost out of the tournament and you just survive and then you sort of like yeah. play that extra life Six. totally free because you shouldn't even have been here <laughs> you were out in the first place yeah 
So true. Happened a lot. But 10-6, now 11-6 for interval. Li Yang and Wang Jilin of Chinese Taipei going into the mid-game interval after just uh, four minutes of play. So, Coach Chini Wei used all her a lot of time here at the mid-game interval, talking to her two players. They are now both of them, the players, independent, in uh, which means that they are not part of uh, the Bampton Association of Malaysia's setup any longer. And uh, Chini Wei was also a very, very good coach under the BAM, but is no longer there and now coaching a lot of the independent players. Go! Uh, challenge. Go, Shem. Challenges call in. I think Shem is right. I think he's out. Uh, at least on the... Uh Outer part of the line is in at all. It's nope. in. Let's call it. Middle of the line. Middle of the line. Challenge yeah. unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So that was so much for my eagle eye today. I apologize. 12-7, play. Yeah, Lo spotted that he was still listed as the server on the uh, scoreboard here in the arena. Whoa. <laughs> Service over. <laughs> he tried Eight. to return it with his Twelve. left hand there. <laughs> <laughs> it is allowed to have two rackets, one left hand and one right hand, as far as I, I know. There's is no he? restrictions. Hey. Wow. Well. I don't think there is any restrictions. We have to we have to go back and look at that. Yeah. Check it out this afternoon. an all-out attacking combination from Chinese Taipei. Now 14-8 up. And only eight minutes of play. It's incredible. Yeah, and also a sign that uh, the playing conditions here are uh, a lot faster than the two previous tournaments, yep. the uh, Sudeman Cup in Banta, Finland, and uh, Nine, Thomas and Uber Cup in Denmark. So we should turn there from uh, Obi Shem. Service over. 17-10. Yeah, so far I feel that too many 
errors coming from Lo Xuan Shen. Really not used to the pace yet. Well safe behind the back from Sorry, Wang Chilin. He'll we'll probably be feeling um, a little tense uh, low because, I mean, for him, this this must be seen as a chance to uh, partner Gobi Shen. Definitely. No doubt about that. This time they challenged 18. Li Yang at the front of the court at the net and uh, were very successful doing so. So I, I agree with you, Steen, that either you know you you try to keep him out of the game completely or yeah. you really go in and challenge him. You try to get the better of him. Yeah. It's called out. It looks so simple, doesn't it? Yeah. It makes it look so simple. Yeah, everybody's, I can do that. <laughs> but uh, lots of practice hours to make it look uh, easy. That's, yeah, that's long on the back line. Li Yang challenges, hold out. But try to look at that drive defense from Li Yang cross court. Whether it's in or out, it's still quite a fantastic shot. remaining. Service over, 14-20. Play. Okay. First game won by Li Yang and Wan Qiling, 21-14. Fantastic smash there. Yeah, the way that yeah. he's just getting behind it. Yeah. Okay, it's basically over his left shoulder when he gets it uh, all the way across. It's yeah. a nice whip. Okay, we've got the confirmation of the scores 21 14 in 13 minutes. For Li Yang and Wang Jilin, Chinese Taipei. Thank Court 
I'm not sure so much coaching is needed in the China no. Taipei camp. <laughs> First of all, they know each other's game so well. Coach Chen Hongling, former partner of Wang Qilin, and got yeah. to number, what, four in the world? They did. So, um, I think they know exactly what they want to say. And they can take less than 20 seconds. Yeah, 21 14, that's. No need to adjust anything. No change in um, the wind direction. As far as we can see, there is next to none. Yeah, as I say, then all pairs, combination players, they're, cho they're not choosing ends no. when, uh, you know, toss of the coin, which is a strong indication of the fact that there's no drift. But if you were Go Shem and Lo Xuan Chen, what would you do? Yeah, I don't think they can do anything. <laughs> I don't think they can win it. But I would try to. Um, I would. I would do everything to play in the preferred formation with Go Shem at the back, and uh, then um, encourage Lo to um, to try and be as active as possible at the net. Hopefully, set up. Um, some possibilities. I haven't really uh, looked particularly for um, patterns in the defense of uh, of Lee and Wang, but that's um, that's Chini Hui's uh, job and sort of set them up with these um, opportunities. They definitely got to get out of the um, service situation. So uh, I would take inspiration from some Danish uh, pairings and um, and try and dump it below the tape to make sure that nothing bad happens on, on the third shot. But um, it can be difficult if, if they're serving well. And then when lifting, when they're forced to lift, I would lift um, as high as possible uh, in here. Um, because uh, for one thing, Wang Chilin has a really, really big smash. And Li Yang is mostly dangerous when he can uh, jump into um, the lift, so to speak, um, intercepting the long lift. So that would be um, the uh, backbone of the uh, game plan here for the second game. But but I am not sure they are strong enough. Uh, whether they're capable of doing no. it. But the thing I agree with you when when you go on defense, you know, lift it high, make sure that uh, your opponent is getting no pace to feed off. Yeah. I think that that is definitely one of the things Four, that they can do. Three. And getting out of the service situation, of course, is essential. And then um, perhaps if it's on a good day, uh, I would challenge Li Yang at the net. I would yeah. definitely try to challenge one, him. One of the things that you can say is that you know that he's going to try and challenge you. So you know that when you've played at front court, you're going to be played again. So you need to be more ready. Yeah. Uh, and that's where I feel that um, the reactions are faster, both with Wang Chilin here, who's improved his net game, so he's also now dangerous at the net. And that's the trouble with the high lift that I still think Wang Chilin can floor it. He can, he's got an awesome smash. Uh, especially in here, in this arena where it's, um, it's the smallest arena on, on the tour. So, um, so you get a good hit, the timing is no problem and so on. So I think it's difficult. And, on the other, I don't know, I apologize for this, just the sound changed a lot in my ear here. Um, the other thing that I think is um, a little bit um, troublesome is that so far we have seen very few, if any, players going independent and raise their level of play, let alone um, maintain it. Maintain it. Yep. So a lot of players go independent and uh, Six, five. and sort of um, lower the workload they used to do in practice. And that's, I, I can understand that as you get older, um, it's difficult to uh, to practice as much as you did as younger, but then you have to practice smarter. And I still have to Seven, see that from five. players going independent. It will be interesting to follow Victor Axelsen in his men's singles quest um, to, to create sort of um, a second training environment. 
And so the players, they still produce some good results, but it's mainly feeding off the level they had participating in a national uh, practice. Yeah. Takes a lot of discipline to go independent. Yes. Have to be self motivated all the time. Nine, five. And now it looks like Wang Chilin and Li Yang zooming again, a nine five up. And on top of that, we also hear news um, from Malaysia that it's been difficult for the independent players to, um, to secure training facilities. Um, during the lockdown here. Yeah, it is. The ones that participated at the Olympics, I guess they practiced with the national team up to the Olympics. They did so, yes, they did. The only sort of setup that was open was actually the national setup. All, everything else has been closed. So they can't go to their normal set, uh, badminton trainings and so on due, uh, due to the lockdown. So it was only national setups open. And that, of course, is posing a, a major problem yeah. to all the independent players. 11-5, interval. So 11-5. In a favour of Li Yang and Wang Qilin. And here we got the confirmation. Eight minutes of play, 11-5. And Go Bishem and his partner, Lao Xuan Shen, really have to find some answers now. Yeah, from listening to Chini Hui, it's, it sounds like it's going to be a lot with Deng Deng. That's what they're focusing on. Well, that's several times. I'm not sure what it means, but um, no. that's definitely uh, what they need to do. More. Thank, thank. Let's assume it's attack. <laughs> but that's also... Um, both these two players, Wang and Li, they played some mixed doubles. Uh, they played two disciplines, and um, I wonder if that has uh, helped them in this uh, mid-court uh, area game, so to speak. The ability to take the pace out of a fast-paced service return and, and uh, direct it to a certain spot. That's crucial in mixed, but it's also very, very helpful in uh, men's double. Yeah, if you can find the gaps. Here we have a challenge, it's called out. And uh, I think it's Wang Chilin that challenged, but it's unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Six, 12. Play. One, no. One, play. One, one. one. Don't do that. Be ready. Service over. 13. They're entered into uh, all three tournaments on the European tour here. Go and uh, low. And I just checked that uh, they're also entered into the uh, Bali tournaments, the Indonesian Masters, Indonesia Open. And um, they have. Definitely found a good spot to uh, change partnerships in terms of world ranking and possibility of uh, Seven, building 13. up a uh, score world ranking wise so that they can get into tournaments in uh, 2022. Yeah, it's a rather complicated thing it with is. the notional points and all that, and that could take ages Seven. to explain. <laughs> and even if we try to explain it, I'm not sure you will understand it. <laughs> No, it's just you have to select it very carefully. And their opponents, the Olympic champions, they started their partnership two years ago by playing seven tournaments in a row, quite unheard of at that time before the um, pandemic. But that was necessary to make sure they made it far enough um, in terms of world ranking and qualifying for the Olympics. 
team. Wipe the cup, please. And the interesting thing is that uh, Go is, is going to uh, resurrect his partnership with Tan Rui Kong at the World Championships because they've been selected for the World Championships. Yes, they have. Thank you. Uh, have they have the high have ranking. Have they accepted it? Have, yes. They have accepted yeah. it. Okay. Because I, I saw that as well. Yeah. And the thing is, had Malaysia Nine, declined 14. the invitation for the for, uh, former Olympic silver medalists, they would have um, gotten an invitation to uh, Nui Sudin and uh, Gosi Fei, who they selected as second pair for the, uh, for the Thomas Cup. Thomas Cup. Mm. There was some debate in um, Danish media yesterday about the selection in women's doubles, where Denmark declined for one pair to get another pair that's um, in the national team to uh, the World Championships. So a lot is dependent on the uh, world ranking, and. Uh, it's important to be aware of that when making uh, decisions of tournaments to play and who to partner. 11-14. What a great little comeback here from uh, Go and Low. 11-14. 26 minutes of play in this match. They've um, fallen in intensity, uh, Wang Chilin and um, Li Yang. I, I think they feel quite secure that they're going to win this match. And it's always uh, dangerous because what if you've, um, what if you've uh, judged wrongly? Uh, lower your guards and then can't come back again. Yeah. Or spend an extra game on court. Oh, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> that was the spinningest serve I've seen. 15, 12. If you can get control over that. <laughs> then it's going to be difficult to uh, return. Then you don't want to stand on the other side. No. Service over. So Li Yang returning the favor. Service mistake. And just two points in it. Really fast to get uh, under that one, Govi Shem. Yeah. He's always come across as a player who had excess capacity to me. Yeah, he's a very talented player. Um, at one stage, I, I felt he was probably the one having the hardest smash in the whole game of men's doubles. Very, very decisive. But now I actually think it's perhaps Wang Chilin. But I'm sure you have better choices than me. But I think Wang <laughs> is having an it, awesome smash. Uh, it's very, very efficient because he's 17, both got the power 14. and the uh, angle. Wang Chilin. It's a good serve, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Really dipping quickly as soon as it's over the net. Lee, play. Oh, 
Yeah, Wang Chilin and Li Yang, they uh, rose to top 10 in the world within a year, 2019, on the world ranking. It took them only one year to get to top 10. Yeah. <laughs> 17, 18. Yeah, chances. 18, 19, it was long on the back line. Play. So it's becoming rather crucial now. 18, 19. arrived 2018 having won the opening game 21 14 the young to serve play oh. Oh, what an interception 31 minutes to play Chilin, 21-14, 21-18. Yeah, you really, really have to watch out when Li Yang is at the front of the court. Look at that extreme interception from him. First the block shot, and then tempting his opponent to go cross court. Covert so well, played the winner, which was the match point. And... Uh, the Olympic champions winning in two straight games in 31 minutes. 21-14, 21-18 for Li Yang and Wang Jinlin of Chinese Taipei.
and the fo 